black powder. It's made uh, it's 44 caliber. Got a seven and a half inch barrel on it. Got a brass frame. Uh, muzzle loader. Just like so. Um, it is. I can pronounce these guys right. It's FL Lepetti. They're out of Italy. They make these replicas of these. It's a uh, fairly reasonable price. These are about uh, 180, 179. Um, they're really accurate. Smooth action. I mean, it's fast. I don't have my holster with me, but fast out of the draw. I mean, these are pretty um, accurate. Um, I mean, you can go 30 yards with them. I mean, pretty decent. So, I mean, you sit there and you walk up on something, you can. You, you still take down what you got. I mean, it's a 44 caliber ball. Uh, you gotta watch out. You want to put about with the brass frame. If you're using like um, power decks, uh, about 25 grain. What you want to load in there, and it takes uh, on the 45 on the 44 caliber ball. There's like three different sizes. There's a uh, 451, a 454, and a 456. I believe. But it's the 454 you want to use. But say if you do get like a, a four, uh, 451 and it feels like it's a little loose in there, or you're not feeling like you're getting enough pressure build up before the ball's being uh, ejected, uh, you can take you a little bit of tissue and wrap that ball in that tissue and then plug it down into it. And um, you know, that'll, that'll tighten it up a little bit better. Now, a lot of people will put grease around the uh, over the caps just so when you do fire it you don't fire off and spark shoots off the other cylinders i mean i've never had a problem with it before a lot of people put the wad in there i, I don't put the wad i don't use a wad um, i just i do it you get to the point uh they got a little measuring deal you can buy and uh you know with 25 grain and you basically you'll get to the point where you can eyeball these and just load it a lot quicker but like if you are taking out hunting, I'd uh, put your six shots on a measuring deal so you have accurate, you, you know what it's going to shoot. Um, there's a way to put these on safe. That's something a lot of people don't realize is uh, you take it half cock like so, then pull the trigger and you want the cylinder in between where the caps go there's a little nipple in there you want it to get down that nipple and that's safety right there that you can actually have all six cylinders loaded and you don't have to worry about if the gun falls out of the holster hitting that hammer and sitting one off and then just to just to get it ready to go I mean it's just cock it back and that's it but uh Let's do a little closer look. Now they do have these. You can buy these. This is a seven and a half inch barrel. Okay, and they got the uh, the five and a half. It's hot out here. We're at like 110 again. But uh, like I said, these are the ones you can order from Cabela's or get from Cabela's. Make sure you check your, uh, your states and stuff. Well, I mean, Cabela's will let you know. But they have several different kinds. Like if you go out and you shoot it, even if you shoot it one time, or if you shoot it 50 times, uh, clean it. When you go home, I mean, as soon as you get home, the first thing you do, clean this thing. Because if you shoot it a handful of times, you put it in the gun case, put it, put it in your gun case, whatever, and let it sit. After a couple of weeks, you come back, and you will have a nice paperweight. Because the powder blast, the burn, it corrodes everything. Springs, it'll freeze this thing up. Like I said, they're accurate. Here's the, the sights on them. On these, you can see, it's got the uh, the tip right there. And then for your rear sight, whenever you cock the hammer back, see the V? That's your rear sight right there. So it's cock the hammer back, line up, take your shot. Boom. And these are great. They're, uh, like I said, they're easy to handle. There ain't a whole lot of recoil. The brass frame, you don't want to go over 25 grain. A lot of guys say uh, 22 grain. Um, I usually go right around 25 because these brass frames, 
can you can crack them if you overcharge them. Um, it's a great gun. This is 1851. Better Navy.